Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 2, A Christmas Carol, by Charles Dickens. The Classic Christmas Story This novella is a great read. I love Charles Dickens, and I would love for everyone to read his books, but I realize that many are a bit long and perhaps intimidating. For those of you who would like to see what Dickens is like, I highly recommend this book. It's a novella, or short novel, like Hemingway's The Old Man and the Sea. Reading a novella is great, because you can get into the story, enjoy it, and also have that great feeling of accomplishment in finishing a book in a short amount of time. For me, it was especially fun reading this because I started it on Christmas Eve, which is when the book starts. It is lovely to see the character of Scrooge go through a change of heart. The story is a very pleasant read and full of great imagery. You can really see the dreary and cheerful scenery as it is described so well with mood and tone. The pacing in this book is quite good. There is just enough history told to let you know of Scrooge's near past and associations with his late partner, Marley, without slowing the story down in exposition. I especially like it when Dickens describes all of the wonderful food with such fervor. It makes you want to jump into the pages and grab each and every kind of food he describes and try it out until your stomach would burst and your taste buds be overloaded. I highly recommend reading this book around Christmas time, and if you've never read Dickens before, it's really a great story and is highly deserving of the title Classic. I wrote that review, I think, back in 2009, and uh, since then I've been trying to read A Christmas Carol just before Christmas, around Christmas time in December, every year. Like I said, it's a novella, so it's really short, and so you can knock it out pretty quick. And it's just kind of a fun little reading tradition I've started with myself. Every year in December, I usually also post links to where you can find A Christmas Carol online. It's in the public domain, so you can find audiobook versions of it. And I've actually found an audiobook of it that you can get for free from Jim Dale, the guy who narrated all the Harry Potter books. It's just excellent. And you can get a free ebook version at the Gutenberg Project. And there, I mean, it's not just like an ebook, but it has all the illustrations in there. It is awesome. You can also probably just pick it up pretty cheap at like your Barnes & Noble or Amazon.com and have them ship it to you. But you can also get it for free in audio and awesome ebook formats online. So um, if you haven't read A Christmas Carol uh, or you just you know want to read an old classic, that's one I would recommend starting with because super easy to read, super fun story. I'm sure you've seen some form of the story in a movie. So you know, check it out. It's awesome. I love that story, and I try and read it every Christmas, so there you go. Thanks for listening to another book review by me, Dan Absalonson. You can find the website that goes with this podcast at dandantheartman.com, and if you scroll down and look for a link to the right, click on that and you'll see all the blog posts that go with this podcast. You can find me on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman.com. And we'll see you next time for another book review. Take care, everyone. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music provided by Kevin McLeod over at incompetech.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>